G'day and welcome back to Dark Solid Gaming and Elm Creek Farm here on FS22. And as you can see, we're pulling up our combine harvester now and we're going to race off. Oh, oh, wrong button. We're going to race off once I decide to press the right button and start harvesting our new combined field because uh, I think if we don't harvest it today, we'll probably end up losing the crop entirely. So um, we don't want to do that. So we're going to go down. We have just slightly lowered the, uh, the time acceleration, um, just so we can get over there and get it done. So we haven't finished the olive harvesters yet. We've we've sort of just taken off exactly where we left off in the last episode, uh, just to get this field organised because um, it's pretty important we do get this one finalised. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. So straight on over, we're going to cut straight over the field. No, actually, no, we won't do that. We'll try and do the right thing. I'm going to head on over here. I'm going to head up over here past our nice uh, green grass pasture there. And then get on over here. So what we're going to need to do as well is I'm going to need to check on the sheep and the chickens and all that sort of stuff as well at some point. Probably in this episode, just to sort of see where we're at. Uh, and go from there. Right, so we're going to unfold our combine. Take out a bit of our crop. Need to come and get all these rocks off here, or the stones off here, and deal with that. Now, one of the things that Giants has done with the 1.2 patch, um, which wasn't part of the initial launch, um, is if we bring up the map, we can come over here, and now we've actually got uh, the stones. So it actually gives you an indication of where there are stones on the field. So, for instance, we're down in here, as you can see, half of our field, or, or these fields here particularly, not, there was a field here, Field 75, we removed the stones, but we've got stones on all these, this field here. So um, we're going to possibly damage our header a little bit more than what we normally would. But anyway, you can see that there's stones on, on the fields up here, 51, on part of our olive field. So, yeah, so they've added that in, which is good. And a lot of people were asking for that. So uh, that's very good. If, however, I missed that entirely, which I don't think I did, and it was there since game launch, then I do apologise, and I'm sure someone will let me know. All right. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's get this harvested. So our first big soybean harvest, or any harvest off this combined field. So um, we need to see what we get from uh, the harvest. Now, I have got a couple of other combines to use as well going forward, which is good. Uh, got a couple of class of combines there. Um, so uh, we'll have some decent green colour on the farm again. Uh, but yeah, so got a few, a few different mods there to use, uh, which is good. But uh, we'll showcase them as we're going along. Um, now, one of the things I did want to mention too, so in relation to mod reviews, a couple of people have messaged me. Oh, pardon me. In relation to um, what, what mods I'm doing and, and when I'm doing it, all that stuff. So I'm just going to clear that up. So I will do mod reviews on mods that I think that are um, either important enough or something that'll be popular enough uh, for the majority of my viewers. So it won't necessarily be everything that comes out. It won't be everything that's available in any way, shape, or form. It will be what I deem to be, I was going to use the word exceptional, but it's not necessarily exceptional either. It's just something that I think that most viewers will be interested to know about and to have on their farms. Um, so for instance, I may do a set of tractors coming up, but not all tractors. Um, generally game improvements and things like that. If it's stuff that I certainly would consider using myself, I'll probably do a mod review. So for instance, like GPS, the GPS from Lobster. I have got one coming out for that, or it may have already been out by the time you see this, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I'll do things that I feel uh, there. I'm not going to do everything that's available, all that sort of stuff. Um, it just becomes too much of a burden. Um, and I think it's just important we showcase the important stuff. And, and again, it's only going to be stuff that is available from a trusted source. So, say for instance, there's six authors that release a, a, a class Zerion, and 
they're all on the mod host or the FS19 mods or the family simulator oh, sorry FS22 mods.com or family simulator mods 22 whatever, whatever the hell it is all these aggregation sites um, I will only do those that are also coming from a reputable and safe area where the model themselves has put the mod um, because I, I don't think it's uh, it's right to point you in those directions now I mean obviously that's only affecting the um, PC and Mac players console players are pretty much exclusively limited to the mod hub um, and that's why my preference would be to cover mods that are in the mod hub and also the ones that come and are available like at Simply Safe Mods or from Stevie or from, from those modding groups that, that are on Facebook or whatever else or have their own website um, that I believe and I can put my hand on heart and say I, I trust them giving that advice out to other people, other players knowing that they should 99% of the time be perfectly safe in what they download I can't give that guarantee that they're 100% they safe obviously um, but I want to make sure that when I'm actually showcasing a mod and I'm, I'm doing that sort of stuff that I'm actually giving you um, the links and the availability of that mod where it's perfectly safe to do so and it's also going to be something that you hopefully will use and enjoy so that's basically what I'm going to be doing with the mods so just because a new mod comes out don't expect to see a mod review from me because it may not happen um, but I will certainly be trying to do as many mod reviews as I can uh, for those that I deem to be pertinent and important enough to sort of showcase so anyway so for instance one of the ones that I'll probably be doing very soon um, my good mate Jimmy J alluded to me on Discord that uh, there is now an FS22 auto drive um, so I found that out this morning so I'll be going off and having a bit of a look at that and, and seeing uh, how that works and where it's at now it's very obviously very early days it's available on github um, and i'll go check that out and if, and if i think it's uh worthy of everyone then uh, i will certainly um, promote it and tell everyone where to go get it and showcase what it can do so uh so yeah it's very promising to know that uh that we have auto drive coming out um, next thing we just want is uh horse play and then uh, my next one from that, there's a couple of ones, but uh, I certainly want to see a few other mods from our good mate uh, GTX to, to be coming back. Um, like the Easy Development mod, for instance, would be great. Hit, hit, nudge, nudge. Um, and, other, and other things like that. So, uh, yeah. Alright, we're going to uh, put our pipe out. Oh, I've got a trailer here waiting for us. The trailer I prepared earlier. Dong. And it's going to offload into that. And then hopefully I should be able to put this on order on uh, hired hand and get him to finish off most of the harvest. See, so gone to the days where I could set up a course play course and turn the auto offload. Yeah, just that little bit off. I'm not, I can't remember the capacity of this trailer either, so I don't know how much it's going to take. Probably, a couple, probably three loads by the look of it. Maybe two. But our truck's over at the other field as well, so we've got to bring the truck back over. Or did I bring this over with a dolly? Oh, I have to bring a dolly over, otherwise. Alright, we went the whistle. All right, so that's done. First load. Now let's see if we can get the hired hand <clears throat> to deal with this combined field and do the right thing by us. Ourselves up. Oh, 
he started. All right, so we're going to leave him go. Now I'm going to go back over and continue on with our harvest here because we can't let a hired hand do this, strangely enough. We're going to get the olive harvest done as well. And, uh, and then we'll go. So we're about, uh, what are we in? Six throw in, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> so just under, probably a, probably halfway. Probably under halfway, so that's okay. We'll get this, uh, this harvested, and then uh, we will continue on. But um, been a very fruitful uh -huh, uh, couple of episodes in harvesting our our olives uh, but like I said we need to the next thing we do is purchase the processing plant uh, so as we can process these olives and produce some olive oil which will then uh, either use in further production or will sell which way we go with that I don't know we haven't decided really yet all right that's our way back in the creek it's not too far so we've got enough to come out Right, off we go again. So the next thing we do after we harvest the um, the olives here, we'll need to refer it. We need to um, mulch up the the ground along the side of the olives. So we'll be uh, using the, the narrow plough to come through and fix all those up and uh, and do all that sort of stuff. One of the things I don't know how we actually do is how we get rid of the crop itself from the field. So I'm going to have to investigate that because um, there's going to be some point in time where you're going to want to sort of take the crop off the field entirely. So I don't know how we actually do that. So I will investigate and see how we do it. We may have to bring a, like a mulcher in and just mulch them all down. Maybe that's the way it works. I don't know. Another row done. that bad. Alright, what's our uh, combine doing? He's at 47%. He's doing alright. He's continuing on, which is good. Another row almost finished. Now we should be able to do the next two rows okay. So we'll see how we go with that. Don't go down the creek too far. Um, yeah, should be able to get these next two rows done before we have to offload, I hope. So we'll see. We're well over half, the halfway mark now. So we're going to get what, about, I would guesstimate about 9,000 litres of olives, thereabouts, um, from this field. I guess the important part's going to be, I mean, when you, when you think about harvesting a field, it's not a lot of, a lot of harvest coming off the field. Um, when you compare it to like, things like soybeans and canola and stuff like that. I guess the the proof is in the money we make from the product. So you buy an actual pure allotment of the amount of harvest by weight, maybe a lot smaller, but the the money that's made from that harvest may actually be a lot higher in that regard. So why have we got caught up there? Come on. All right. Um, 
so yeah, so it may it may actually work out to be that it's actually even though it doesn't sort of give us seemingly uh, as much in the way of a yield, uh, but the profit on the yield that we do get is a lot higher. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Not having gone through a full cycle with it yet, uh, it's a bit of an unknown. Now, of course, I could have gone off and watched other people dealing with olives. Apologies, um, but uh, I've chosen not to because we need to sort of experience and, and delve into it ourselves, much like what we did with the trains, embarrassingly enough, uh, but we got there in the end. <laughs> Let's just not recap that, visit, that video. All right. All right, we're not going to finish this, this uh, roll off. We're going to be all before we get to the end of it, I reckon. There we go, 99%. There we go. So we're going to go over here and we're going to offload and I'll come back and uh, revisit that road. Yeah, go, another load done. Excellent. Right, now we go work out where we were. It's that one there, wasn't it? Here's that road out, so we're just going to fly down the end here without hopefully getting caught. Oh, no, I knew I was going to do it, didn't I? Preempted it. Now I've got stuck. Have I? No, there we go, right. Um, I knew I was going to get stuck by coming down there that way. Don't advise you to go full, full tilt down that the olive grove. Anyway, we've done it now, so that's all good. Alright, reactivate. Uh, the combine harvester is full, so we'll go off and empty him again. So we'll just get this uh, row done, then we'll go off and empty him. But no, we won't. We, times of the essence, we need to get that, that harvested because we don't want to have any of that withering. Okay. Take off the helper. <laughs> All right, float our second load. Get three loads in that trailer, okay? By the look of it, okay. So, again, right, so we're going to go set him up again. No, it looks like the trailer was full, so we have to deal with that as well. Right, let's go grab the truck. Right, we'll leave you here. Okay. And we're going to offload that trailer. Clickety split. Right. 
There are lots of things to do. We'll get that trail offloaded, bring him back in, and then uh, we can continue on with our olives. Now yeah, I do have to go through and continue fixing up all our controls because with the patch, it always, I just forgot all about it, it just basically wipes out the input bindings file. So, um, we need to redo, redo all of our input bindings. So, um, we'll go off and do that. We can back up on it this time. But then for the next patch, we don't uh, lose all our settings. So you just, just got to the point where I was happy with where everything was in relation to the bindings, the steering wheel, and the joystick, and everything else. And then uh, Giants comes along and it all resets. Cheers. Thanks. Anyway. All right. I'm going to come around here. We're going to grab this and just see. But I expect this is full. It's not a very big trailer if it only takes one of the, one of the bit loads of combine harvester. Yep. 16,000 litres. Okay. I think we may be getting a new trailer at some point I just got this trailer because it was um came with a base game and I just thought oh we haven't used uh, oh, we're gonna need something a little bit bigger than this it's all right for really small fields I guess and then for a smaller field well, why would you use a semi-trailer like this you could use just a smaller trailer with the tractor but anyway we've given it a go Yeah, there's our chickens. Alright. Uploaded. And away we go. I may have to look at reconfiguring this yard a little bit too with um, I saying in the last episode how JFL are bringing out their, um, their road train trailers again. Um, we have to reconfigure that yard a little bit for, for my road trains. So, uh, a little bit of work coming up for that I think. Okay. There's no point in going anywhere because the combine's about to be full. So I'm just going to shut him off. Combine. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just take the truck onto the field and we'll offload it on the field. Why not? No, it's not ideal. We should be using a, a all the wagon. Um, I'll do it for now. All right. So let's go back and we'll. Well, there we go. I'm gonna finish this off, and then uh, we can move on from there to the next game day and continue on with uh, with everything else we need to get done. So it'll be interesting to see how much money we actually make uh, from, from our olives. Um, very interesting indeed. But I'm hoping it's going to be a relatively profitable crop because it's a pain in the bum to deal with. 
All right, we'll see. All right, so the combine's back up and running again. All right. A bit of a tight area here. A bit of a turn. After this one, we've got three to go. This should take us nicely to the end of the episode. So, as I said previously when we were setting these up, I'd like to see a, a more refined way of actually planting these so we can get a better alignment and better spacing. Um, it, it works okay for the moment, but there's, um, you don't really get an even distribution and trying to also, you want to get an even distribution, but you also want to maximise your layout as well. So I'd like to see sort of like, what I'd like to see is, is I guess like a planter similar to what we have for planting uh, trees where you drive it along the field and it will automatically um, plant the vines and the, and the olive grove out but put it at a spacing that's, that's even um, that would be nice that would be a nice um, improvement uh, why have we got stuck on that um, is it likely to happen no is it likely to be a mod yes um, so hopefully a modder will um, We'll take that sort of an idea and has already developed something like that and, and we'll bring that to us um i mean that's that's the sort of thing that's just not quite this is just that little bit more refinement in my opinion so um so yeah we'll uh we need to see what comes from that in the future but i'm sure someone will be thinking of something along those lines because i know i'm not the only one that's actually spoken about uh, how bit of a pain to, to lay it all out um, so I mean who knows someone with better skills than I will hopefully um, bring us a mod that actually will fix that for us yeah. all right so we're we're about 50 percent and our harvester is at 50 percent as well it's okay we'll um we'll finish this off now so we'll do these last two rows, or row and a half, and then we'll offload, and that will be the end of our olive harvest. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll transport the olives over to the oil, the oil um, refinery, and we will purchase the oil refinery if we've got enough money, and uh, we'll start producing some olive oil. <clears throat> that also means, though, that we can... Um, Plant some canola, get some canola oil going as well. Uh, and what was the other oil? There was, another, there was three oils, wasn't there? It was a sunflower. I think it was, I think it was olive oil, canola oil, and sunflower oil. Off my head. We can go and have a look at that there. But in any case, we're just going to uh, finish this off, and then we'll go over and purchase the plant, and then go from there. So I hope you're enjoying the series. I, I haven't actually sort of started off with that today. Um, I'm saying that at the end of, this, end of the video, um, but I'm, I must say I'm actually enjoying it. I, I, I am conscious of the fact that as of recording this, I still haven't got out my, my overall review and thoughts of FS22, um, but uh, I, can, I can honestly say I'm enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I hope you're enjoying it as well. There's elements of it that are that are better than FS19 and FS17. There's elements of it that aren't. Um, but uh, certainly, I, I will give Giants credit. The, the launch of FS22 was much better um, than FS19. 
uh, and I, I think it's a, it's a much more polished product. So a lot of things I think are lacking in it. It could have been done better or, or more stuff could have been done to it, but I think overall um, it, it's not a bad release. So I'll, I'll get my thoughts aligned and, uh, and bring them all to you very soon. Everyone that cares, that is. All right, that's it. We're going to offload the olives. And in the next episode, we'll come back uh, and we'll, we'll deal with the olive oil refinery, or the oil refinery and all that sort of stuff in the next episode. So uh, for this, this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to finish off our soybean harvest. We'll just harvest all that. And uh, we'll come back on the next game day. Um, we'll have all the equipment ready to pack away. And we'll deal with our um, the spoils of our uh, of our harvest. So let's just shut him down. Right, thank you. Now, uh, what we'll do is I'm just going to go over here, jump in the the Massey or McCormick, the McCormick. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and what have we got? We've got ten thousand one hundred eighty-seven liters of olive uh, product. So that's that's good. Right, so I make sure we've got nothing left on our field. Withered, 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 withered. Right, I'll make sure we didn't miss a row. Right, that's all good. And so that's, that's how much we've got left. Just a little bit more of that field to to plant. Um, so we'll do that. Once we've got some more money and plant some more uh, groves out. But uh, that's it for the episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Uh, as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And uh, we will see you again very, very soon. Back here at Ducks Oily Gaming and Farming Simulator 22. See you later. Bye.